Christianity, by its true definition, may be defined as a Euro Gentile Greco Roman psycho philosophical vehicle of spiritual and intellectual enslavement, which has at its end three things. One, cultural racial superiority of the people who created it. Two, paralysis of analysis. You don't think. Three, perpetual empowerment of the agenda intended by it. But this can be said for all religions. Euro, Gentile, came from Europeans. Europeans, according to the biblical text, are Gentiles. Who did I say were Gentiles? The Europeans. According to the Bible, black people are not Gentiles. I know we've been taught we are, but according to the Bible, we are not. Write this down. Genesis 10, verse 2 through 5. From the perspective of world history, these people never existed. From biblical perspective, they did. From world history perspective, the people never existed. So there's two perspectives, biblical and historical fact. That's why not one of you can go find the family of anybody mentioned in the Bible. There's no family lineage alive today. There's no grave of anybody mentioned in the Bible. We got to learn to think from two perspectives. Biblical mythology and the perspective of fact. Back to Genesis 10 verse 2. The sons of Japheth. The descendant or the originator of Europe. Gomer, Magog, means Europe. Madai, Ripeth, Germany. Togama, Dottoman, Spain today. From these, the names of the descendants of Japheth were the Isles of the Gentiles. The next category starts in the next verse. For the next category of people. The sons of Ham are who? Cush. South Egypt, Put, Morocco, Canaan today, we call Palestine. So these nationalities are not Gentiles. So when I say Euro Gentile, Greco Roman, Greece, Roman culture, Roman Empire living under Hellenism, psycho philosophical, psycho meaning the mind philosophical vehicle of spiritual and intellectual enslavement cultural racial superiority of the people who created it look religion is nothing more than a deification of a culture it depends on where you're born geographically has a lot to do with what religion you will be in people born in japan are not christians they're buddhists if you're born in arabia you're not jews you're not christians you're muslims that's the religion of the culture. People born in the Western Hemisphere, they're not Buddhists by birth. They're not born Hindus as people in India or in Europe. Guess what the religion is? Christianity. It's the religion of the geographical area. When you take people who create a religion, the purpose of their creation is for their cultural and racial superiority. So when you take a people black people and put them under the auspice the, which is the divine token sponsorship of a Euro Gentile religion those black people somewhere in their mind they are subordinate they are inferior to the creators of the religion following being that this happens on a subliminal level we don't even realize it the paralysis of analysis by those who believe in it. You don't think. Those who take on this belief system suffers from a disease called paralysis of analysis. You don't think. You were indoctrinated. I was indoctrinated. That means that the church took his doctrine and put it into your mind. That's what indoctrinate means. So when you as an African have been indoctrinated with Euro Gentile philosophical thoughts, now when I say African, I'm just saying it because I'm black, but you apply this to all religions. So if, if you're Arabic, 
you say when you as an Arabic have been indoctrinated. If you're Japanese, when you as a Japanese have been indoctrinated. I'm speaking from all people, but, but because I'm black, I'm, I, I, I say African, but you put your own culture and race where I say African, and this applies to everybody. Euro Gentile philosophical thoughts, you are out of your mind. The perpetual empowerment of the agenda intended by it. Perpetual means ongoing. They put a device in place that self fuels itself of cultural and racial superiority. So what is African consciousness? Once again, when I say African, what is African consciousness? What is Japanese consciousness? What is Chinese consciousness? What is Mexican consciousness? Apply to, to you, but because I'm black, what is African consciousness? May be defined as a black person's state of mind when he or she maintains intellectual vigilance as the proper posture toward all scholarship, which ignores the truth about the African origins of spirituality and civilization. All you hear, see, every encounter you experience as an African, you should have intellectual vigilance. Don't be weak minded. Any scholarship which ignores the truth about the African origins of spirituality and civilization as an African conscious brother or sister, you need to deal with that. It has no place in your African mind. When an African, black, who's supposed to be conscious, walks around saying that Columbus discovered America, that black person is out of their mind. Why I say that? We're taught that he did. But from whose perspective? From the Spanish perspective, yes, he did. From the people who were already here, no, he didn't. From the people who were already here, he did not discover America. He was a murderer and an invader. He didn't discover anything. So African consciousness is the transforming power which enables black people to capture the true sense of our soul. Remember this verse? What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? All my life, I've misapplied this verse. I was thinking that, you know, if I gained all this material wealth and go to hell, it would be wrong. I was wrong. What does it profit a person to acquire material gain and lose the awareness of who he or she is? That's what your soul is. Your soul is the seat of self-consciousness. Your spirit is the seat of God consciousness. Your body is the seat of earth consciousness, but your soul is your, is your awareness of yourself. And if you don't know who you are, your soul is lost. Got nothing to do with going to heaven or hell. African consciousness is when a black person becomes totally changed to a consciousness level of involvement in the struggle for their own and others' mind liberation and empowerment people. If you are not completely involved in doing whatever it needs to be done for the liberation and empowerment of your mind, you are not conscious. Many people want to appear conscious. You ain't conscious. Why is Christianity and African consciousness in opposition with, uh, with each other? It's because we don't know why. They don't know why. And if you don't know why, then you are incapable of producing results in your efforts. Because one, it's about conquering and controlling an individual. The other is about the growth and personal development of an individual. How can I say that? Truth, facts, documentation. In 451 AD, heard of Council of Chalcedon? This is what our ministers need to be preaching in the pulpit. This is a meeting, and in the meeting minutes, this is what was written down at the Council of Chalcedon 451. Go look it up. This wise and saving creed, the gift of divine grace, was sufficient for a perfect understanding and establishment of religion. For its teaching about the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit is complete, and it sets out the Lord's becoming human to those who faithfully accept it. That's in their minutes. But if he became human... Whether you accept it or not, he became human. But it says in the minutes, he became human to those who accept it. It's about faith. When it comes to religion, it's about faith. When you have knowledge, you don't need faith. I'm holding a pen in my hand. Or well, say water bottle in my hand.
Do you believe I'm holding a water bottle in my hand? No. You know it. You ain't gotta have faith. You ain't gotta believe. You looking at it. I'm holding it. Here's the evidence. I would actually to believe I'm holding a bottle of water. But if I do this, and I say I'm holding a bottle of water in my hand, do you believe it? Now you have no choice because the evidence is, is not before you. Got it? Faith. Substance of things hoped for. You hope I got this bottle of water in my hand because I say I do. But the evidence of things not seen. Now you're on faith. You don't know. When you believe in things that you don't understand, then you suffer from superstition, like the Stevie Wonder song. In the minutes, Captain Bishop say, we formulated these things with all possible accuracy and attention. The sacred and universal synod, S-Y-N-O-D, the assembly of the clergy, also the laity of diocese of a particular church. Here we're talking about the Roman Catholic decrees that no one is permitted to produce or even to write down or compose any creed or to think or teach otherwise. What? Even think? I can't even think? Other than what you tell me to think? That's what religion does. Religion teaches you not to think. It tells you what to think and if somebody comes along like me and say, say, man, listen, you've been taught wrong, you get angry at me. You're going to want me to drop dead. It goes on to say, as those who dare either to compose another creed or even to teach or hand down another creed, for those who wish to convert to a recognition of the truth from Hellenism or Judaism, from any kind of heresy at all, if they be bishops or clerics, may those bishops be deposed from the episcopacy. If they be monks or lay folk, they are to be anathematized. From what? Anathematized from what? The meeting? <laughs> the Council of Chalcedon. Don't take my word for it. Write it down. Go type in Council of Chalcedon 451. Read it for yourself. Anathematized, curse, condemn. Anytime an organization puts a document like that in place, that means you ought to make that a priority of you to be suspect about. You tell me that I can't think anything other than what you tell me to think? That's control, man. Anathema, a thing devoted to God without hope of being redeemed, and if an animal, to be slain. Therefore, a person or thing doomed to destruction, a curse, a man or a woman, accursed, devoted to the direct of woes. 1 Corinthians 16, 22. Man, who gives these Catholic bishops the, the right to condemn me to the wrath of God and there is no hope for my redemption <laughs> because you don't hold to our doctrine they, don't, they do think we are animals we were what uh, back in the day three fifths human that's why they could lynch us and have a clear conscience 1 Corinthians 16 22 if any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ let him be anathematized the Bible says, if any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathematized. Most people don't even know what they're saying when they read that verse. Look at history, our history. Let him be anathematized when you don't believe in that doctrine. That's re religious prejudice, by the way. Religious prejudice in its purest form. So you mean to tell me that black Africans who were uh, living the past 85, 90,000 years ago who knew nothing about this Roman Catholic Church program or Christianity, the almighty God has doomed them to destruction? I don't think so. I used to think that because I didn't know any better, but now I know better. I understand African spirituality, African consciousness does not condemn somebody else because they are on their level of consciousness. I respect you if you're on your level one. 
if you're on a level two, if you're on a level 50. I can't fault you if you're on a level, level one. I understand that. That's your level of consciousness. We understand. Right, my job is to cultivate you, to elevate you. Not be prejudiced against you. The Christianization of Africa. In the, gold, in the book called The Golden Stool, Edwin W. Smith states on page 173, to win a people for Christ, it is necessary to Europeanize them. I'm not making this up. <laughs> this is why I tell you, go do your research. This is why I tell you the source of the research. Get the book, read it. The Golden Stool by Edwin W. Smith. This is a Christian missionary. Europeanized them. Behind all systems of admin lies the fundamental question of what we intend to make of the African. See this? One possible, largely practiced policy is that of repression, which means keeping the native, the African, in a subjected and inferior position. Keep him in his own place as a mere serf, slave of the dominant race. There it is, like it or not. And the most effective device that has been used to accomplish this European agenda is the religion that was forced upon our African ancestors. This religion is called Christianity. I want you to know something. We did not respond to an altar call. We were kidnapped, chains on our neck, shackles on our wrists and feet. And this was forced upon our ancestors. This religion called Christianity is a very effective device. I looked at pics uh, titled A Plantation Worship Service And there's a black preacher preaching to the black slaves And look who's watching Why is the master sitting in the congregation To make sure that the black preacher says What he wants him to say I know what I'm talking about I was one of them I was what they called a safe negro A youth leader Youth pastor I taught Sunday school I was a good boy in their program Soon to be the next in line to run and pastor my own church as a successor. They never would have given me those credentials if they knew what God had for me. When I was like that, nobody gave me a problem. I was a threat to nobody. Everybody loved me. I had my own youth sanctuary, making money, getting paid, saving souls. And then the same people who was rocking with me when I exposed and came out to the truth, they unfriended me so quick. So I said, ooh, so that's our bond, huh? Just because we were on the same doctrine level. That's, all right. that's cool. But you know who rock with you when they real hit that, hit that road. Edwin W. Smith continues on page 186 that the first method begins by destroying the institutions, traditions, religion, and habits of the people, and then superimpose upon the ruins whatever the governing power considers to be a better administration system. The other method, while checking out the worst abuses I was looking at, says they try to graft their higher, their higher civilization. Hold on. They're higher, right? But they was in the Caucasus Mountains crawling on all fours while we were mathematicians, musicians, astrologers, engineers, doctors, built the uh, Great Pyramids already, and they still to this day figuring out how in the world did they build that. But they said that they try to graft their higher civilization on the soundly rooted native stock, bringing out the best of what is in the native tradition and molding it into a form consonant with our modern ideas and higher standards. That's why the new Africans were very religious people, very spiritual, no, uh, very spiritual people. Excuse me, very spiritual people. So they took that. That's what they Africans known for, their spirituality. And you can't tell them nothing when it comes to religion now because they, they, uh, they're in that program. Psychopathic racism Right there Psychopathic racism This is a Christian missionary though Edwin W. Smith We out white white people Those of us who don't know any better One of the most effective ways To suppress a people Is by putting a device in place That would disassociate Those people from, from their God Spirituality, culture, and their history so they put a device in place that would ensure their perpetual, which is ongoing, empowerment over the minds of those who deceive. The device is now self-perpetuating. As long as there has uh, air in my lungs, as long as I got air in my lungs, I'm going to tear down every lie that I spread and I'm going to tear down every lie that is, that, that is spreading now. And I apologize to those who I misled. Due to a mental disease called selective amnesia, we have allowed ourselves to see the enemy of our ancestors as our friend. I can see our ancestors up above look, look, looking down saying, when will our children wake up? European's history principle function is to first separate us from the reality of ourselves. 
to separate us from the reality of our story and to separate us from its power. <clears throat> For 2,000 years, we have wholeheartedly accepted the Eurocentric idea of religious of a religious thought and we still are not saved we're still not liberated where has it gotten us as a people you cannot learn through the lenses of the lie the mind cannot teach what it does not know the need today is for black Africans who have been divinely called out and set apart for the particular purpose and our mission of liberating, resurrecting and empowering other black Africans to get serious about their uh, assignment, to stop being distracted and bring forth fruit. That's the need today. How are you going to bring forth fruit if you keep getting distracted? How are you going to stop being distracted if you don't know what your assignment is? I challenge you today. I challenge you today. What is your assignment? Hmm? What did God put you on this planet for? What did God let you come out your mama's womb? To sit up in church, wear the big hat and look good? To drive that nice car? To be on social media spreading lies, gossiping? We don't have time to be wasting time. Our young are dying in the streets. Information alone is not enough. You gotta have the power. You cannot fight in bondage. Try fighting in handcuffs. You gotta be free to fight. So free your mind. Find out what your assignment is so that you'll stop being distracted. Christianity and consciousness are 100% incompatible. So we must realize that we are conquered in the name of Jesus. How do you set a person free who already thinks that they're free? All I can do is bring you our story. We've been conquered, y'all, in the name of Jesus. I was in the church as a member, youth leader, youth pastor, Sunday school teacher. Is it bad? I'll say this. It's not for our good. It's not bad because our intent is sincere. I genuinely believe I was right. I'll stand on what I believe in today, even if I got to change it all tomorrow. Right knowledge brings change. I vow to expose my people to the truth that we are betraying our great, 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 great grandmother and our great, 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 great grandfather. If our ancestors can see the stand we now take for the oppressor that lynched them, kidnapped them, raped them, they will feel so much pain in their heart. We must break that last bond of slavery, the slave master's religion. Stop perpetuating that lie. How can you keep the lie when you know you got to die? Or in other words, how can you keep telling that lie when you know you got to die? Know our story above his story. <laughs>